Sorry if it's hard to catch my vibe. Hi, my name's Alex. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm talking about how I got pregnant at 19 years old. So right now I am 20. I just turned 20, but I found out I was pregnant when I was 19. So let's start off from the beginning, from when I found out that I was pregnant. So basically, I just felt a little weird and a little bit off. I had a friend bring me a test and then I kept that test for a few days until it was the right amount of time. So I waited to the missed period and then the two weeks and then I took the test and like a very faint, faint line came up and I was like, okay, I don't know, it could be like a messed up test. There was a, like a faint line. So I was like, I don't know. So I called my other friend and I was like, oh my gosh, like a faint line came up and I don't know if that's like a yes or a no like maybe it's too early so it's only showing a little bit or I didn't know how it worked so I was like oh my gosh and then she came over to my house immediately and then we went and got more tests and I got a bunch more and I took another one and then the lines were very very prominent and then I took another one a few hours later and it was the digital one so it was like a yes or it said like pregnant or not pregnant and I've taken a bunch of tests so it was like a yes or no all the digitals all the line ones and they came back really prominent and obviously the digital said pregnant so I was like oh my gosh like I'm pregnant so I mean that's how I found out I didn't find out some like really long like weird way dramatic way or anything that's just how I found out but yeah, so basically right now I am five months pregnant, um, 24 weeks, almost 25 weeks. I mean, there's nothing really crazy about my story, except for my age. I guess my age is the crazy thing about it, but I'm now 20, so I'll be having her when I'm 20. Well, I found out it was a girl too. I got the blood test done at like 11 weeks, and I think you could get it done at like 9 to 10 weeks. So I got it done at 11, and then after that, we did a gender reveal party, and we had all my friends there, family, everything like that, and it was a girl. So I'm excited to have a little mini me. I'm super excited to have a baby, actually. I know everybody's like super sad and like emotional when they have their 19 and pregnant videos, but I'm super excited. I love babies I can't wait to have a mini me and I'm just super excited I think that like I don't know I feel like she's just gonna better my life and it's just made it so then instead of going out with friends and partying like every other 19 20 year old is doing I just sit at home and watch TV but I just hang out with the people that are important to me and then I don't really hang out with other people just like, I don't hang out with anyone fake. I cut everyone fake out of my life, so. It's just only the real people now, which is nice. It's nice, but like, it seems boring compared to everybody else's lives, but I mean, I'm cool with it, and I think that it's better for me personally, because I think that that is putting me down a better path than whatever any of the other people are going down at my age right now. Not all of them, but most of the people that I know. So I'm 24 weeks and I have been super nauseous since I think after the first month that's when it really started kicking in. It took a lot to gain any weight so far, like to get a big stomach at all because I will eat something and then I'll immediately throw it up after, even like water, I'll drink water and then out it comes. It's just like a waterfall, like it's just everything I eat and everything I drink came up. I could keep my prenatals down, but after a while, I kind of felt like maybe my prenatals were the things that were making me throw up more. Like, I would take it and I feel like that just triggered my throw up. Once I was past the day of like the normal morning sickness thing that everyone talks about, like the normal stage, I was past that and I was still getting really, really sick and the doctors were concerned and everything. And I think that the prenatals may have had something to do it. So then I switched prenatals to a Whole Foods brand, so like a healthier brand versus like the capsule kind. That seemed to have helped. I got a look better from then on. So I threw up a little bit less, but I was still throwing up. In the beginning of my pregnancy, I gained like two pounds and then a month went by, like the third month I think, and then I lost more I lost more than two pounds, so I was less than what I was before I got pregnant. So that was bad because I weighed less and you're supposed to be gaining weight. And then I 
would go up a little bit and then I'd go back down again and it was just like I don't know it was really weird I'd stayed pretty much steady for a while and then I kept losing weight I did go back up above my pre-pregnancy weight though I only went below it for like a month I think and then I went back up one or two so I was only one pound heavier than my pre-pregnancy weight and then after that I just kind of stayed steady and then went up a few ounces then back down a few ounces it basically was just like I stayed in the same range but then I gained five pounds within the fourth and fifth month like between there I gained five pounds which is super exciting and then I went down a little bit but it didn't like it wasn't a lot but I think I'm going back up I mean I hope I'm going back up I'm able to eat more and I throw up way less so it's way less now so that's super exciting and really like relieving because I was scared she was gonna be super small and become like preterm but I think that she's doing just fine basically that's just like the struggle with my pregnancy personally it's just really that I don't really have any back pains I mean like just sitting like I don't have normal back pains like if you're sitting in a comfortable chair but I don't really have any back pains any leg cramps I don't have anything like nothing really hurts uh, just the throwing up sometimes my stomach hurts a little bit uh, after I eat it feels really really tight like my skin is stretching and it's like it's like because I threw up so much it's a good thing for me I'm like okay that's good because it's like she's growing but like it hurts and then I'm like thinking about stretch marks but I haven't gotten any stretch marks so far which is good I like really hope I don't get any stretch marks okay so I went and grabbed some things that have to do with her and let's see let's get closer to the camera I have the pregnancy test and then I have a stuffed animal from one of her ultrasounds at a like a 40 ultrasound place and you can hear her heartbeat in it so it's so cool let's see so yeah, I think that's so cute but yeah that's our heartbeats and then we have some pictures this was 12 weeks and six days so basically 13 weeks super small super super small then and then we have the 40 ultrasounds which I'm gonna get these framed for her room because we're like gonna decorate her room soon and we're super excited but she has her own room and we're just gonna Make it all cute and girly. Okay, so here's the 4D ultrasounds. The lights are reflecting on it, so it's kind of like, but yeah, there's the 4D. She, we got it done super early, so she was really, really skinny and tiny during this phase, so you can't really see too many features because it's just like, she's really skinny and really tiny. So there's that. And then we may possibly do it again once she gets bigger. So then we can see more of her chubby cheeks and her features because I have really big chubby cheeks and her dad has really big cheeks. So I know that it's just, she's just going to have like some big cheeks. So I know that if we wait longer then we'll be able to see more of her features in the 40 ultrasound. So I thought I'd show you my stomach at five months. This is where my stomach is at. I don't know if you can with the black see very well. This is five months. 24 weeks, almost 25. I'm super excited for her to be here soon. She'll be here in around four months and I just can't wait. That's basically it about my entire story. Basically just got pregnant at 19. Gonna have her when I'm 20. And yeah, not a crazy story, nothing too special, just young age basically. So thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. If you have a comment, go ahead and leave it down below. If you have a question, I will answer all of them. And I can't wait to see you guys in my next video. Bye!